On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, Mum finds out who the hot tour girl is. Oh. We find out what kind of mum I really am. And Mum finds out the true meaning of BBC. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and nice mother <laughs> lisa say hello mum hello mum hi hello hi. deep down i've always been a mummy's boy at heart and in this <laughs> weekly podcast i get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give but sometimes my mum needs help too viral videos tiktok social media <laughs> celebrities weird order these are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around mm. so i'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind Behind. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth <laughs> and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. So if you're in need of advice or just have a question or story that you're desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822 013 And no matter what the issue, I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum, Can We Talk? Yes. Mum, can I pull you for a chat? We should change it to that. Pull you for a chat. Yeah, like, is that lo a thing? like Love Island. Oh, is that what yeah. they do on Love Island? Oh. Sorry, Lisa, okay. can I just pull you for a chat? Anyway. Oh, I don't like that. Welcome, welcome and welcome back. Welcome, welcome and back. And bienvenue. Um, we are so back. We're um, back. We're back. We're back with it's a vengeance. Just, it's just you and I. Yeah, it no is. No guest. No. It's getting in the way. That's quite our, nice because I'm, fe I'm feeling a bit ropey, actually, Arthur. <laughs> I am feeling a bit ropey. In what way? I've got a cold. Oh, you're cold. You've got a cold. I have got a cold. Oh, oh yeah, a bit. Yeah, a daddy's had the COVID. Well, I've got my voice is sort of gone after. Oh, and Arthur, I, you've been to Wimbledon. It was really cool because I was invited by a, like a friend whose boyfriend <sighs> is a player. Oh, okay. He's like okay. a doubles player. Oh. Um, so, and I didn't realise this really like, but like the, 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 the sort of accreditation that I got was like really like high end really? i was just sat in the cafeteria like emma raducanu next to me having lunch before a game oh stop um, it who else did i see i saw coco Gauff, alcaraz came really? in oh amazing i'd love to cool. see him but then all the all the all the games got called off um, oh was it a rainy rain. day um so i didn't oh. even get to watch my friend play um, oh but i did manage to sneak into center court basically and watch Raducanu lose but it was oh that's and I, you know what I've never seen it that close before no that kind of like uh, quality mm. it's insane it's... how like the power and everything and it made yeah. me really want to play again I think oh. it made me really want to play again oh well you should you I were will. very I think good I get lessons and you were good I was good I was watching somebody the other day not not um Oh, I can't remember his name, but he was mm. whacking his, he got so angry, he was whacking his knees oh, yeah. with his racket. Um, I mean, in a really like a terrible show of, like terrible um, show of bad behaviour, but it made yeah. me think of you. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you used to do, do, you used to be so I wonder hideous. if I'll be any better. And then on my days. phone, I got one of those remindery what's-its on Facebook that you get. Yeah. To say that this was the day in 2012 where you and I went and we watched Murray go through to oh, his really? final. If on, you recall, on the hill, we were on the hill. Yeah, yeah. But that yeah, was 2012. And then he he's not going to play again. No. Oh, that was an emotion scene, wasn't it? Mm. When they put up all that big film I, um, for him. Just to add to things that just have been going wrong for me recently. Oh, dear. Well, There's more. So, it was like a 20 minute walk to the station because I was walking home. <laughs> Um, from like from from Wimbledon to the station, yeah, and then like just get there, and they're like, "Oh, sorry, like all the trains are cancelled, signal failure." Oh god! And I'm in Wimbledon, like, and I've got yes. to get to like bloody Aldgate. And oh, life! I was, so like, tough. I was looking, and like, and all the so I waited for a replacement bus. Two came completely full, um, and I'm like, I literally don't know what. And I, my phone, which isn't even my phone, no. Um, I've, like, I don't have, I didn't have data at the time because I hadn't bought data on it. So I had like 4% no data. And I'm like, I, I reached a sort of point of like, I'm just going to walk. Oh, so darling. I walked. 
<laughs> in some kind of like depression flow state <laughs> like like no oh. headphones nothing i'd walked for like an hour and 45 minutes to oh, wow. clapham junction oh, wow and then like managed to get um on the trade to from clapham junction to waterloo and then i walked it from there took me That's absolutely mad took me off. three hours oh dear. it was weirdly it was weirdly like I'm i was like really sad nice. but also like i was just like yeah just kind of like just like it can't get worse. <laughs> so I was no. just like, I'm just sort of just going to wander until I feel better. Just quite, just quite, oh dear. Yeah. Oh um, dear. And then I got home. I was like, right, I'm going to sort my shit out. And then, yeah. That yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, well, anyway. But anyway, you know what always cheers me up? What? A good old quiz. Oh, I wonder what so you were going to say. So we're going to do another quiz. Oh, excellent. Another sort of internet quiz. But, oh, oh um, You're going to fail miserably. Um, no, so you did don't. Feral Girl. Remember what you were Feral Girl Summer? Oh God! Last time, um, <laughs> oh, we're going to make it more oh. more catered to you, um, oh, right? And mm. it's going to be a sort of about what type of mum you are. Oh dear! Um, but what what type oh. of mum do you do you think you are? Before we start, I'm bloody lovely. Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> I'm understanding and kind mm. and caring, and I put up with all sorts of nonsense. Right. Is that about right? Sure. Why not? Well, we'll find out. Oh, it's not my place to say. It's well, the internet. Well, it, it, it probably is. Your place to no, say well. <laughs> it is your <laughs> it is your place to say. Who else? Who else has a say? That was the joke, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't, was it? It was. Mm. <laughs> right. We'll leave it to the quiz. And okay. I'll, I'll make my mind. Okay. Up. Question so, one. Oh yes. Which do you think kids need more? Rewards for good behaviour or punishment for bad? Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, obviously it's rewards for good behaviour, but I actually do quite like a bit of punishment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think it's gone too much the other way. <laughs> well, I do. I'm oh, sorry. Wow. Okay. Did well, you no, vote if you reform, never get... That... No, I didn't right. vote reform. Let's not get into that. Um, no, okay. So, no, obviously rewards for good behaviour. All the mums and the dads have gone woke. Well, I think they There's have nothing a like a little slap around the cheek. <laughs> right. So so I think your answer should be punishment. Yeah, that, yeah. You, you okay, I'll yourself. go for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Not all punishment has cookies. to be violent. Question two. Your child has way too much homework this week. Oh. And you are not sure if they will, they will get it all done. Mm. You A, help them out by doing some of it for them. <laughs> B, tell your child that it's okay if they can't finish and have a talk with the teachers about assigning too much work. C, Call the teachers yourself and ask them for an extension. D, make sure they oh. finish, even if they have to stay up late every night to do it. Oh, no, B. Tell your child it's okay if they can't yeah. finish. Yeah. Uh, as really? long as they have, yes, as long as they haven't been. I've lived through that and I don't remember that happening. Oh, because you're so used to me <laughs> being so bloody lovely to you because. <laughs> yes, it's true, uh, Arthur. <laughs> I would, I would say, no, if you can't do it, but I wouldn't just say, yeah, go and lie down and watch the telly. I wouldn't let you just lounge about. I would make you do a certain amount. Right. Well, but then when I think there's the too much. Right, okay, well, yeah. because if there's too much, there's too much. Okay. And, I, and yeah, also yeah, it depends on the bells. age of the child. That, yeah. I very much believe that children should be playing and not doing stupid tests. Make your mind up. They're like, uh, playing punishment. No, it's got nothing no. to do with punishment. No. You know what? Sure, that rings bells. I can, I can really vividly remember you doing that You're often. Well, so I did. So, B, tell your child that it's okay if they can't finish never talk. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, question three. Your 15-year-old wants to go to a rock concert a with their friends, most of whom you haven't met before oh. without parental supervision. Mm. You. A, let your child go because you trust their judgment. <laughs> B, ask to meet the other teenagers first so you can get a feel of what kind of people they are. C, allow them to go, but only if you can go as well to supervise them. Oh. D, let your child oh. know that there's absolutely no way this is going to happen. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, oh. That's quite a hard one because I don't think any... <laughs> Luckily, I always knew who your friends were. And so I would not be in that position. But mm. so I, I that's no, but you could like you could I could just I could just go. You know, I've, I've found a new go with a new friendship group that I've found in school. I think you're go 15. To this rock concert. It, you're, sorry, I think I'd probably let you go. Yeah, I agree with that. Fifteen, you know, it's fine. Yeah. So 
let let your child go because you trust their judgment. Well, that's the problem, you see. I definitely would never have mm. trusted his judgment. But um You don't trust my judgment. Not really. But I'll still go for A because I don't like any of the other options. A. Okay. Mm. We're not going to be you're not going to ask to meet the friends, are you? No, that'd be weird. It would be a bit weird. I wouldn't let you do that. Question four: Your twelve-year-old child is taking piano lessons and is rehearsing for an important concert coming up this weekend. Oh. They are getting very frustrated by one particular tough passage that they can't seem to master. Oh, you let your child know that there's absolutely no way this is going to happen. What? Yeah. What's going to happen? That they're going to get it wrong, or they're going to get it yeah, right? I don't know. I don't know. That's all it says. Oh, okay. B, tell them to take a break. There are more important things in life than worrying about being perfect. C, praise them for their playing, even if it isn't perfect. D, tell them not to worry. They don't have to play at their concert if they don't want to. Oh, definitely not that. I think probably C, praise them for what they've done so far and um, hope that they get that tricky bit right on the day. Yeah. Yeah? I actually have started playing piano again. Have you? What yeah. Do you mean again? Well, I sort of, I go through stages of playing it. Right. And now I'm in a stage of playing it. Are you? And I learnt, um, oh. actually I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to ruin it if it does happen. Oh, that's exciting. I've learnt a, the start to a song, which Have is you? quite an iconic song. Have you? Which I think I'll do at Reading and Leeds, but oh like, I'll god. actually play it. Oh my god. <laughs> but it'll be like fun, it'll be shit, but in a funny way. And I think, and then like, I'll do it just piano, this one little riff. Yeah. And then like all the band will come in. Oh, it'll be great. It'll be great. Oh, it's, it's exciting me great. But at, you've oh. got, add in the, the nerves and your hands no, shaking. But it's it's quite simple. I've like. Bulbs. It's just, it's not chords. It's like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> your hands might still shake. You might miss the note. But it'll be funny anyway. You know. Okay. Question five. How involved should a mother be in their college aged child's decisions? Very involved. Mum still knows best. Somewhat involved. Mum is still allowed to nag and push a little. Not very involved. They need to be allowed to make their own mistakes. So this is, I'm at uni. Um, I was, I'd go for B still. Mm. But that, that, you can only be somewhat involved if the child in question actually allows that yeah so i think I mean, if they've if asked pushed for any more, kind of i advice, wouldn't be so unorganized well exactly so you know yeah. i get the blame for whatever so yeah. i might as well so you're gonna go be involved. you're somewhat involved somewhat i don't involved. really think you're no you were you were somewhat involved yes in university years yes i was yes of course of course Sorry, question sniffing. six would you ever let your 11 year old child ride the subway alone Absolutely, they should not. They should learn to not be afraid of the world. <laughs> Maybe if I believed the stops were safe. Absolutely not. There's no telling what trouble they could get in. Um, Eleven. Yes. You would. I think again that depends on where you're living. Well, you let's know, say London. Where, let's say you. Yeah, but you I've know. never lived. I haven't lived in London with children in tow, so I don't know. But I still, well, yeah, I still think. I guess from yes. back and back and forth from school was all right. Well, exactly. Suppose, but but then, but then they're not on their own, time. are you? Yeah. Maybe it would be after a certain time. Mm. I wouldn't like them to be doing yes. it. No, I wouldn't probably want to do it in the dark. Yeah, that's a maybe. Okay. Maybe if I believe the stops were safe. Yeah. Okay. Your teenager wants to throw a high school party at your house. <laughs> you laugh in their face and tell them to get back to doing homework. <laughs> tell them you don't think it's a very good idea. Agree to it, but insist on supervising the party so no one drinks. Offer to buy the beer. Yeah, that one. Offer to buy the beer. Yeah. I don't know if that's... You're somewhere oh, in between what? the last two. Well, it is somewhere between the last two, but there isn't a C... Yeah, you, you'll offer to buy the beer. Yeah. Yeah, you did, you did when I had yeah, my exactly. 16th birth birthday. Yes. Bought the beer. But you, you know, were yes, also we, at the house. It, yeah, it says... But it says offer to supervise... So that nobody drinks. Yeah, yeah. That's not what I'd be doing. Mm. It should be. It should be that so they drink responsibly. responsibly. So the beer that you've bought. Yes. Yeah. So that needs to have another we'll category. Go, yeah, in we'll there. go for buy the beer. <laughs> okay. Question eight. Parent teacher conference time is here, oh, and dear. your kid has a B minus in sixth grade history. Oh blimey! I've That's no all right, isn't it? Old, how B minus is. isn't too bad, is it? Um, 
Do you get a tutor for them and cut <laughs> off TV until the grades improve? Bloody oh, hell. Oh, crikey, Moses. Wonder if maybe the teacher isn't interesting enough. Oh. Encourage the child to do a little better by offering some financial incentive. 50 bucks for an A. <laughs> Think a B minus is fine, especially in the sixth grade. Um, yeah, I'm afraid I'm going for that. <laughs> B minus is fine. Is B minus bad well, I mean, in America? it's B minus. I, I thought it was only when you get one to the sort of D. How about you guys be criteria. positive over there, yeah. right? And unless, he wants, unless this child wants to be a historian, I don't really think it matters. I was an absolute... I was a B and C man all, all the no, way not, through. No, you weren't. I was. I was you got lots of at A's B. as well. You did I get... Didn't. You I didn't. did. I think I got... What, not, not A level. I got BBC. No, I, no but... Okay. BBC. I got BBC at A level. <laughs> <laughs> You're not laughing because of that. What? Nothing. Oh, what does BBC no, mean? it's okay. Oh, that's no, not fair. No, you horrible young it's... people. No, BBC no, obviously BBC's... means something rude. No. Yes, it does. No. Right, not well, I'll have to Google it, won't um, I? Oh, please. Right, I'm going to Google it because you're just all being too bloody annoying. Please don't, mind. Meaning. BBC meaning funny. Is that going to be the one? BBC is an acronym for two very different things. It stands for British Broadcasting Corporation. Oh, and God. oh, what's the other one? You know, it's on the tip of your tongue. I hope not. Is it? Well, hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Accept cookies. Oh, for oh, fuck's God. sake. Big Just black get... chickens. What the fuck is going on here? What? Right. Well, that's what it says. Oh, right, hang on. I'll go back. Wait. Videos. No. No. no videos, no videos. Not videos. No. What does BBC stand for on Grinder? Oh, hang on. I accept. Oh, I'm getting all sorts of stuff. Oh, up. God. Oh, big black. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I see. BBC. Oh. Goodness me. Yes. Well, I, I want to get that off my phone now, don't I? Yes. I'm gonna am I gonna get lots of pictures of the BBC coming yeah, up no, on my don't. phone yeah. from now on? Make sure you don't. But yeah, I got wow. I got a BBC at A level and it changed my life. <laughs> I've never had a no anyway. No. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's move on to the, the B minus thing. Remember that? That was nice. Oh yeah, that's Before where that we were. Happened. Oh dear. So think a B minus is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's more than fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy with a B minus. Okay, question nine. Two more. It's a rainy summer, summer day and you have a yes. headache and your kid is bored indoors. Oh, dear. What's your next move? Remind your <laughs> child that there is no time to be bored. The summer schedule is packed tight. <laughs> no time to be bored, young man. Take your child to the movies and then get some ice cream too. Oh. Put out some crayons, turn on some cartoons and go take a nap. Grab them by the hand and go out together to dance in the rain. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. I thought it was going to be grabbing by the hair and so fling funny. them outside. Um, <laughs> a rainy summer's day. Well, again, depends on the age. Crayons, mm. you're looking at, you know, little ones. Yeah. I think I'd probably want to go to the cinema. I love a cinema. You wouldn't, we wouldn't, you wouldn't dance in the rain with me? No, I wouldn't. Oh, that'd be such a... I'd live forever in my memory. Would it? Yeah. It wouldn't. You'd be going, I don't like the rain. No, it'd be, it'd be like... No, it wouldn't oh. be like that, Arthur. It wouldn't be like that, though, would it? <laughs> I love you, mummy, I'd yes. say, as you swing me around. Yeah, that's how yeah. it... Yes, yeah. but it wouldn't have oh, been I didn't like that, would it? Um, so what, movies, then? Movies. Let's go to the movies yeah, and watch Mary Poppins. Final question. Yes. How did you feel on your kid's first day of school? Proud? Relieved? <laughs> worried? Or confident? Oh, gosh. Worried. Worried. Yeah. We had a broken arm. Had a broken arm. <laughs> so yeah. I was quite worried. Okay, wow. This, I'm excited about this. Well, I'm not. What type of mum are you? Oh, God. The results are in. Oh, okay. Dum, 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 dum. You are a free spirit mum. Oh, Ooh. love that. You believe that protecting your children from making their own mistakes deprives them of life's most valuable lessons. True. Although you have some hopes and aspirations for your child, you recognize that you are merely a guide to hold their hand along the road of self-discovery. <laughs> Everything else is secondary to this, even homework and grades. Yeah, 
I'm, wow. I'm, I'm pretty cool with that. That's pretty, that's pretty nailed yeah. on. You really are merely a guide. Me, me, yeah, get rid of the merely. hold my hand. In the rain. Along the road of self-discovery. Mm. Oh, well, there you are. Oh, I'm quite pleased about that. Free spirit. Free spirit. Free spirit mum. That should be your bio on Instagram Maybe now. I should free put that on there. Free mom. spirit Just mama a free hill. spirit mum. Yeah. Merely a guide. I don't like merely, the merely a guide. Merely the second piece of this podcast. Merely a filler. <laughs> yeah, merely well, an extra in my life. <laughs> merely... Arthur! Sorry. <laughs> Stop it. Right! Yes! Oh, as if we what? couldn't have more questions and fun things to do. do we? We're moving right on from the quiz to the nation's favourite game! Hurrah! Two lies and a truth. Yes. I'm going to give you three statements and you have to figure out which one is... True. So, Mum. Come on, then. Recently, on. a girl went viral on the internet. A girl? A girl went viral on the internet and has since been referred to as the hock tur girl. Hock? hock tur hock tur Yeah. But what did she do to get that name? hock tur A, from a video of her wrestling an American football player to the ground. B, from a video of her giving advice on how to please a man. Ooh. C, from a video of her dancing on a table like a hawk and jumping into a crowd of people. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask you how to spell it, but then that's probably going to give me a clue, isn't it? H-A-W-K-T-U-A-H. T-U-A-H. Hawk tar. Hawk <laughs> I would not have been able to pronounce mm. that if I'd seen it written down. That's weird. It is weird. Okay. It's all bloody weird. Well, can I think about that in the break? <laughs> you can think about it in the break. Oh. About Hawk Tour, girl. Hawk. You can think about Hawk Tour. Well, it's not Hawk, is it? If it's Hawk, Sorry, it's Hawk H A W K. Yeah, Hawk Tour. It's just the way that, yeah. That, Hawk. Okay. Yeah. Hawk Tour. Hawk Tour. Okay. Join us in part two where we will find out the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And for some Mum Can We Talk correspondence. Oh, hurrah. I thought we might have forgotten to do that. No, bit. no, no, never. It's Mummy's Boy. Welcome back. Thanks. Very shortly, we'll be getting to your Mum Can We Talk correspondence. But first, <laughs> before the break, I asked you. Recently, a girl went viral on the internet and has since been referred to as the Hock Tour Girl. But what did she get to do? What did she do to get that name? A, from a video of her wrestling an American football player to the ground. B, from a video of her giving advice on how to please a man. C, from a video of her dancing on a table like a hawk and jumping into a crowd of people. Okay, so uh, the third one obviously has the word hawk in it. Yes. So, But that feels like that's been put there on purpose mm. to confuse the old girl. Uh, or is it? Or is it indeed oh, the truth? Yeah. Uh, or uh, And the middle one, I don't want to know about what she might have done to yeah. please a man. So yeah. that makes me feel a bit sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go with, I quite like the idea of her wrestling somebody or other to the ground. I'm going to go with A and I'm going to be right. I I wish on on, on every level of being <gasps> oh. that that was correct. Oh. But unfortunately it's not. Boo. Which one and is we it? we have to, it's B. It's B. Oh, no, it's and not. we're going to oh, watch it. Jack. We're going to watch it because, oh, are we? because content, you know. Why the fuck not? Let's oh, watch because, it. Uh, because it's not fair on it's your old not, mother. It's not. She's not even going to get it. Oh, oh, shut up, Arthur. No, but I don't want you to get it. I don't want I hate this. Okay, let's, let's, let's watch. God's sake. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you, you got to give him that hook to and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> I see. Right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's deeply unpleasant. But I think it should be spelt differently in that case. Oh. Well, she should have been known as H-O-C-H-T-U-R. That's what I think. Hoch. That's better, isn't it? Fucking weird. <laughs> oh, I got it wrong. You got it Damn wrong. It. That, yeah, and now she, that, uh, yeah. Well, I was and seeing, she's now I, famous, is she? Did you see the Glastonbury she? flags? 
There was like, like four what? flags at Grasmere that had Hock Tour on them. Oh, you're kidding me. Um, she's got a million she's gone crazy. Now, oh, for there. heaven's quit, quit her sake. Job. She's been signed to like a huge agency in the US. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Just so, for being so fucking that is ri- No, girl. that's ridiculous. And that um, I don't like. Yeah. But, I don't like. Um, what about people who study hard and... Exactly. Who like do their get homework. B-minus and get B-minus in B-minuses. history when they're four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Honestly. Honestly, what is the world what coming to? What is the to? world coming to? Well, the world's anyway, crazy. Moving on from okay, the hock to on. forever, yeah. please. Yeah. Please. Okay. Um, we're going to do, of course, the mum can we talk correspondence. Yes, hurrah. Shall we dive in? Yes. From C. C. C, just C. Oh. Hello, Arthur and your mum. Oh, hello. My boyfriend is so, 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 so dull around my family. Oh. <laughs> like he's got the personality of a brick around them. Oh. But when it's just me and him, he's the funniest, chattiest man ever. I'm scared my family don't approve of him. Oh. What do I do? Oh, have a chat You two with are him. absolute legends, by the way. Oh. Keep up the amazing podcast. Oh, bless Thank you, see. Um, well, see, I, you just got to tell him or just ask him why. He's probably just he shy. Must be shy. I think he's shy of saying the wrong thing. Or, yes. So um, you know, she must scary... say to him, you know, just try and be more yourself. Yeah, and it's a scary thing show... trying to impress the parents. Yeah. Um, show my parents the side of you that I yeah, see. Yeah. Because, yeah, you don't want your parents not to like him. And it's better being dull than them, him being like not nice and them not liking him. So That's it's not true. the end of the world. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's only and up. you'll you'll wake it you, yes. you'll wait you'll make it better mm, yes. by just communicating. Getting properly. Do the hock to the dinner table. Stop it, no, Arthur. Yeah. Oh god, imagine that. I see. I bring back I the dinner wasn't table videos. Bring that up. I'm gonna be the hock to girl at the dinner table. Oh no. I just give up. Yeah. But yeah, um see it's, yeah. Just just have a, a word nudge. with him. Give him a little nudge. Yeah, give him a little nudge. Give him a little nudge. Give him a little nudge. Just like um, that. Question two from Anon. Oh, hurrah. Anon, Anon, Anon. anon, anon Hi, anon, anon, Arthur anon. and Lisa. Hello. My family dilemma is that my mum thinks being lacto- lactose intolerant <laughs> is a myth and oh. keeps chucking out my oat milk. Oh. Now, that is some reform stuff if I've ever seen it. What? No. <laughs> Um, uh. <laughs> it's being used the oat milk is being used to control us <laughs> it's, it's got something in it that's making us all do what they say thank you Arthur yeah. um, oh no well that's nonsense no, I, mean, I, I don't know how this is there's well, such an easy solution happens. to this just google it Tell, just force her to or go to the doctors yeah, she I mean, can't that's... be that brainwashed, can she your mum if you go well, to the doctors but I'm literally lactose intolerant and then he shows evidence yes but that is, that's worrying, isn't it? People are mm, brainwashed. A myth. It's not a myth, you a silly myth. woman. Silly woman, Mrs. Anon. I, yeah, yes. I think you just got to show her some hard evidence. Yes, yes. Uh, Maybe well, of I've... like just what it's doing to your bladder. Just make her watch you poo or something. Your bladder? Not bladder. <laughs> um, bladder? Bowels. No, bowels. bowels. Sorry, bowels. No, I, get her a book. I mean, I, I, she sounds like she's not going to be the sort of person who's going to be swayed by seeing something on Google or whatever because she's going to say that that's been put there so by aliens. to chuck out aliens. the oat milk as well to go to that but, extent. You know, no, that's... She's a bit bonkers. Mm. Get her a... Just get her a little book yeah. or a leaflet from the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get her to read it. Perfect. Silly woman. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I'm sure she's lovely, by the way. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, she's yeah, absolutely lovely. Yeah, just a bit really, thick. And we really appreciate uh, the question or the, the dilemma. We hope it's resolved <laughs> soon. Yes. Um, My son's a bit sensible. And that's all we've got time for. Is it? That is all we've got time for. Oh, okay. We're, we're being kicked out by Are we? major celebrities, I've heard. Oh, yes. oh, that'll be it. The hock tour girl. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't bear it. Mm. That's really pissed me off. Yeah. How ridiculous. She, yes. Anyway. What? Anyway. Yes. Go on then. Well, say goodbye. Uh, Do uh, that uh, bit at the end. Yep. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, always remember. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, always ooh. remember. New episodes every Wednesday and Sunday. Yes. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp <laughs> on 07822013837. Well done, Arthur. Didn't and look. no matter what the issue, I'll ask her. <laughs> I don't like that. That's a bit creepy. I'll ask her. Stop it! No, that's horrible. It's mommy's boy